Bienvenidos a Hot for Spanish. Van a aprender la lección 8, que consiste del verbo tener. So you're going to learn um, lesson 8 today, which consists of the verb tener. And tener means to have. And you use it um, like that in Spanish to express possession, like I have CDs or uh, we have DVDs or you will have animals. So um, you would conjugate the verb tener again according to the subject. And um, remember that tener is an ER verb, so you'll conjugate the verb with the appropriate ER verb endings according to the subject. Um, but also, tener is a, a stem changing verb, which means that its stem changes, it changes in the stem. And tener is an E to IE stem changing verb. So you will just take out the E, the first E, and replace it with IE. That's how you stem change uh, certain verbs. And we'll go over that later in other lessons. But um, in the yo form, though, tener is going to go to tango. It's not going to change to the IE. You'll just keep the E. So it's a little irregular in that sense. So tengo, repitan, tengo is I have. So you could say tengo uh, dos perros. I have two dogs. Or um, the two form is tienes, repitan, tienes. So tienes uh, gatos. You have cats. Or uh, the usted el ella form is tiene. So tiene could be you have, usted tiene, the formal, you, or it could be el or ella tiene, he or she has. So you could say tiene muchos DVDs, he or she or you formal has or have many CDs. Or in the nosotros form, remember, um, Stem changing verbs never stem change in the nosotros form, ever, so you'll keep that E. So, tenemos, nosotros tenemos, is we have. So, tenemos una computadora, we have a computer. And then the last form is tienen, goes back to stem changing for the ustedes, ellos, ellas form. So, tienen could be uh, ustedes form, you all have, or ellos, ellas tienen, they have uh, una mesa, a table. Okay, now um, there's some certain uh, expressions that you also use with tener, that you would use the verb to be in English. So to express age is the first um, expression we'll use uh, with tener because you use ten the tener verb to express age in Spanish. So unlike English, when you say I am 22, like many of my students are 22, or I am 30, you use am, or, or he is, or she is, or we are uh, 29. But in, e but in Spanish, you're going to use the verb tener. So you're saying I have, and then such and such years, like Tengo 22 años, so I have 22 years, or I am 22, or tengo uh, 29, I'm 29, or 30, 30, 40, 40, so you would put in the number of years that you have. So um, to ask how old someone is, you would ask, ¿Cuántos años tienes? So how old are you? How many years do you have? And remember, when you say the word años, it's very important to pronounce the ñ, the ny sound, años. And it's when you write it, you want to write the little tilde over the n, a little squiggly. Because if you don't, if you pronounce it anos, then without the ny sound or the little squiggly when you write it, the little tilde, you're saying anos, which is anuses. And I don't want to hear that you have 29 anuses. Nobody wants to hear how many anuses. It's just wrong. It's anatomically wrong. So remember, años. Años. So you would say, tengo 30 años. I have 30 years. I'm 30. Or tengo 35 años. I have 35 years. I'm 35. Okay, then um, some other 
uh, expressions that you can use with tener are to express like hunger or thirst or coldness or uh, hotness. So let's go over these expressions. So to be cold, you say to be cold in English, but in Spanish it's like to have cold or to have heat. So tener calor is to be hot. So you could say tengo calor, I am hot, or tienes calor, you are hot, or tenemos calor, we are hot. Okay, then the next one, to be cold, tener frío, tener frío. No tenemos frío, we're not cold, porque es verano, because it's summer. Um, the next one, tener hambre, to be hungry. Tienen hambre, they are hungry. Or tener sed, to be thirsty. Um, we could say Jorge tiene sed, Jorge is thirsty. Then another one is uh, tener prisa. Tener prisa, to be in a hurry. No tenemos prisa, we're not in a hurry. Or tener miedo, to be afraid. Um, no tenemos miedo de las arañas. We're not afraid of spiders. Or maybe tú tienes miedo de arañas. Maybe you are afraid of spiders. Um, the last one, tener razón, is to be right. Siempre tenemos razón. We're always right. ¿Que no? Bueno. Okay, then the last two expressions with tener that you can have are uh, to express to have to do something, which is tener que, plus whatever it is you have to do, which you leave that in the, in, in the infinitive. You don't conjugate what it is you have to do. You only conjugate tener according to the subject. Now remember the difference between tener is to have, like tengo, um, tengo una computadora, I have a computer. But to express to have to do something is different. So you see the difference, like, tengo que trabajar, I have to work, or uh, ustedes tienen que estudiar, you all have to study, or tenemos que um, beber agua, we have to drink water. Okay, and then the last one is to, to express to how you want, well, to express to feel like doing something. So the tener expression for that is tener ganas de. So literally ganas means desire. So are we really saying I, to have desires of doing something, whatever it is you feel like. So again, all you worry about is conjugating the verb tener in the appropriate subject, followed by ganas de plus the verb in the infinitive, which you do not conjugate. So you could say, um, I could say, tengo ganas de mirar tele. I feel like watching TV. Or um, you could say, tienes ganas de escuchar música. You could say, you feel like listening to music. Okay, or tenemos ganas de ver una película. We feel like uh, watching a movie or seeing a movie. It's muy fácil. Okay, so this, len this ends um, lesson eight, and um, remember to subscribe to Hot for Spanish, and uh, you can find Hot for Spanish on Facebook if you want to become a fan, and also uh, I'm on Hot, uh, I'm on MySpace, you could be a friend. So, hasta la próxima, estudian mucho, study hard, study lots. Y nos veremos pronto. Besos. Chao.